from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. For years, Yamaha has dominated boat control standards with the original Helmmaster boat control system. This week on Americana Outdoors, we're breaking down Yamaha's latest innovation in boat control and maneuverability, the Helmmaster EX. Hey, good morning everybody. This is Captain Sean Gill with Yamaha Marine Group. Here today to show you something really, really cool. It's our new boat control system. It's actually not new, it's enhanced, and it's called Helmmaster EX. So any of the motors that you see coming from Yamaha from here forth, DEC control, digital electronic control, this will be the system that it will have. It comes with some incredible standard features. So at the base level, the DEC level, we have three basic components. You have a key, some way to start and stop the motor. You have a control box, some way for it to go forwards and backwards fast and slow. And lastly, you have a gauge. So this is the Yamaha EKS, or electronic key system. It is a proximity control for the boat to be able to lock and unlock it. So we have the uh, lock, uh, unlock buttons on the bottom and the uh, lock is on the top. Once the boat's locked, nobody can steal the boat. It shuts the ECM off on the motor, rendering it useless to a would-be thief. Then we go into the control box. The control box is newly designed and uh, fits your hand really well, but this is where we get into the base or the core of the features that we have. So the first one is one that I think a lot of people might just kind of gloss over, and it's called neutral hold. It allows the boat to remain neutral and only let it go into gear. So neutral hold is, is by far a safety feature. The next feature we'll talk about is trim assist. Now trim assist ensures that the boat's running at its optimum or its peak. So the boat's not plowing, you're getting better speed, better fuel economy, probably a better ride too. So that's trim assist. The next two are my favorites, and that's speed control. And then inside of speed control, we have pattern shift. Let's talk about speed control first. So you have the plus and the minus. On the side of the throttle arm now, we have the little rocker. You hit it one time to engage it, and then from there we can adjust pluses up and minuses down. 50 RPM increments, so you have pinpoint control of your speed. We don't recommend that you drive the boat this way, we recommend that you use the throttle to get to your speed and then fine tune it with speed control. Then the last feature is pattern shift. So what pattern shift does, it takes a window of time and it breaks that window of time down into 10% increments. So you can start to see that you really will have pinpoint control of having the boat go in gear and out of gear. So you can actually slow yourself down doing a power drift. You can control the attitude of the boat in this power drift situation. And again, that's through pattern shift. And that's my favorite one. I use it virtually every day that we're on the boat. So that kind of rounds out the, the base or the foundation, if you will, of our new boat control system, the DEC level. So let's step up to the next one. The next one is probably the biggest, uh, biggest news that we have. It's a game changer for us because we're going to remove hydraulic systems from the boat and we're going to go digital. We're going to go electric. So if you see behind me here, this is our new 4.2 liter. It's a 300. And you can see the steering ram on there is just like XTO. What makes that really neat is we can control the rate of turn in our steering wheel from as little as four turns up to as many as nine. So what does that mean? So we call it lock to lock. I can come all the way over to the right hand side and you'll notice where the steering knob is here. So I'll hold this hand and you'll notice. That's one, two, three, four. So I went all the way right to all the way left in four turns of the wheel, okay? The big deal for us is we have changed from being just a constant to now we have what we call variable lock to lock. Well, what does that mean? We have four levels of RPM. As you cross over the, each of those thresholds with the throttle, it automatically adjusts the rate of turn in the wheel. Well, why would I want that? Well, I'll tell you why. Especially in close quarters or tight quarters, we want that fast wheel. You want it to be at four. It's, it's much more responsive, gets the boat around a little faster, and that's great for close quarters. But at 50 miles an hour, say, it gets a little scary. You know, you, the boat will turn a little faster than you may be used to. So at each of those levels, as you increase, it, like I said, it will change the rate of turn in the wheel. While we're here, we can also control the rate of uh, friction in the wheel too. So how hard is it to turn? Some people like me, I like, I like that lighter wheel. Feels like a car or truck or you know, power, power steering. Very easy to turn, very responsive. Other people like a more tactile feel. They want to actually turn the wheel. So we have the ability to control that rate of friction. Little side note here, 
The steering knob always seems to wind up in this lower, lower position here, but now that we have control over it, I can literally put this in any position I want. Let's say I'm left-handed or right-handed. I can turn the system on and off, and that will center it or give it a home. Well, that rounds out the base levels of the brand new Helm Master EX. When we come back, we'll jump right back into learning about the last two expandable levels for the Helm Master EX system. Before the road trips, the cool mornings, the hot cast iron, the short nights, and the long cast, there's one stop that you can't afford to miss. It's time to gear up and camp out at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Save on all your camping essentials, in store and online. Your adventure starts here. Stetson Blaylock! Tom Otten! Hank Terry, let's go! Garmin Live Scope, I tell you right now, if you don't have it, you are behind. It's just wild. It's like a video game. If you do not have that Garmin Live Scope, you are definitely missing out. Bassmaster Classic Champion! Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Ranger boats, still building legends one at a time. Well, when we left off, we had just wrapped up the base levels of the Helmmaster EX system, the DEC level and the DES level. Now it's time to dive into the third level of the Helmmaster EX, autopilot. So this is our first autopilot and it has some really, really cool features. So we have four basic functions here. We have heading hold, course hold, track point, and then pattern steer. Each one of them does something a little differently. Let's start with heading hold. So like a traditional autopilot or engage, heading hold will take the boat and it maintain it on its heading or course over ground, trying to, trying to make sure that the bow and the stern are straight, 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 straight on. Now, when you're in close quarters, that's definitely what you want. You know, if you're in a channel or whatnot, you're trying to hold, maintain that heading hold is the one that you would use. Course hold is the second one. Course hold is very similar to heading hold, except it will allow for condition. So as you maintain, let's say that my hand is the boat and I'm coming straight at you like this, but the wind or the waves wants to push me off a little, then course hold will allow that. So my course over ground will remain the same, but the boat orientation may shift off a little bit, allowing for perhaps a softer ride, a more friendly autopilot uh, feel, if you will. Now let's get into um, the third feature, which is track point. Track point is our go-to. So anytime that you have a waypoint, uh, it can be in a route, it could be at the end of it, it could be just a single waypoint, you're gonna use track point. What's neat about this is if you have to break out of your autopilot and go off track, and then you wanna go back onto your course there, you would hit track point, it will automatically take you back to the next turn of if you were in a route and go straight to it. The last one is pattern steer. So we have two, two sets here. We have a pattern uh, search, which is a spiral. And then we also have one that's a zigzag. So the spiral literally starts off as a point and works concentric circles out to an end point. The second feature there is the zigzag pattern. A zigzag pattern I use in uh, a couple features, but first and foremost is you have control of how long are those legs. So how long is my zig? and then my zag, and then I also have control of the distance between those two, so how far apart are they? Uh, really, really pinpoint control of, uh, of these searches, um, of these pattern steers. So that's the third level, the autopilot level. Now let's talk about the cherry on top of the sundae, and that is full maneuverability package or the joystick. And I'll be honest with you, I was very skeptical at first when this came out. It takes a little time to understand the nuances of it, but once you do, you'll see how much more effective, how much more efficient, and how much faster it is to drive the boat with the joystick tool than it is to drive with the throttle and the wheel. And I can still show you the turn of the wheel here. It's very fast, very responsive, but it still takes me time to do that. So now I can literally take this joystick and the same amount of uh, revolution it took for the wheel there is equated here. And that's four turns of the wheel. So it is faster and is much more efficient way of driving the boat in close quarters uh, than it is with the wheel and the, uh, and the throttle here. 
So uh, that is the cherry on top of the Sunday, but we also need to remind you that now we do have set point controls in a single engine. Now that to me, that's the coolest part. What does set point do for you? Set point controls allows the boat to use the outboard engine to anchor us. So we have a couple of features here. The first one is called fish point. Now fish point will allow you to anchor the boat virtually with this motor, with either the bow into the condition or the stern into the condition. It works phenomenally well. I, I, can't, I can't get over it. You really have to get on a boat and experience how well this works, but it will hover you on top of that spot basically until you run out of gas. It is that accurate. The other feature we have is drift point. Drift point will allow the boat to, it doesn't care about your position, it only cares about the boat's orientation or its heading. So drift point will allow you to set whatever that is, let's say it's 30 degrees, it will allow you to set 30 degrees and it will automatically, in its in gear, out of gear, turn, 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 to allow the boat to drift wherever but maintain 30 degrees, bump, 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 bump along. So you don't have that, you don't have the, the crossing of your lines or whatnot, you have boat control. So again, those are the set point features of the full maneuverability package. So again, um, having Hellmaster EX or the expandable system on your boat, it makes sense, absolutely. It's a much more efficient way to drive the boat. It's the safest autopilot out there and it's got a ton of standard features at every level. So check it out. The Yamaha Hellmaster EX is revolutionizing how we make the most of our time on the water. To learn more about this exciting new generation of boat control, head on over to YamahaOutboards.com. Well, coming up, it's all about Garmin Electronics and why Garmin's live scope is an essential unit for any angler to have on their boat. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z Series, unleash next level performance. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard, we play hard, and to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. <laughs> Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Angle, the original high performance cooler. Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here. Sunline, the strength to guarantee your confidence. Spro, sports professionals. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. When Garmin debuted LiveScope and gave anglers the ability to view a real-time live image of what's happening below their boat, it changed the game of fishing as we knew it. Today, we'll be on the water with several anglers who've incorporated live scope into their fishing arsenal of must-have gear, and we'll see firsthand how they use it to find fishing spots and fish. There you go. Not a good one right there. And hit anchor lock right there. It stay right here on him. You know, you just got wind blowing in on this. It's a timing deal. We just happen to be the lucky ones that timed up when some of these fish are whoa up there moving I was trying to play a little too much TV right there instead of getting him in and you can kind of see the result we're making the exact same cast over and over live scope showing me where the edge of that grass is and that really helps when you can dial that in like that and now I've been able to put the boat in the exact spot because I've hit you know, the anchor lock on there and I can repeat that cast. And that's the key, I think, a lot of times on some of these edge fish that you get get dialed in. There we go. Boy, he choked on it. I might have to get my pliers. Uh, give me that Roku back. All right, buddy. This nice little two-pounder right there. But boy, he hit it like a tank. If we can't, we got them fired up. And a lot of times on this kind of bite, you know, this kind of spot, when you get them dialed in, you get them biting, you want to get 
back out there as fast as you possibly can while they're while they're fired up i mean like getting that wolf pack mentality and you know being able to you know basically lock your trolling motor in the same spot while you're unhooking a fish or while you're fighting a fish really gives you a lot of capability to do that and then you know i'm such and you've heard me say it many times i'm such a believer in what live scope allows you to do it allows you to see where that grass edge is it see those little differences out there and i guarantee you i can probably wait it out not throw in there for a little bit those fish will regroup on that little edge and i can come back there in a, in a few minutes if somebody else isn't sitting on it and probably catch one more Shad doing some work. Doing some work. Doing some work. Oh yeah. God, that's such a fun bite. I don't bite like that. We oh, barely got you hooked. But we got you. Look how healthy that fish is. I mean, little old mouth, big old body. That's the way we like to see them. While Wade keeps using Garmin LiveScope to locate and reel in fish after fish, let's head over to Fayette County Reservoir, where we recently caught up with Bassmaster Elite Series Pro, Clark Wendlet. Fresh off his Angler of the Year win at the Bassmaster Elite Series, he's divulging how LiveScope helped him secure this prestigious award of a lifetime. It's an amazing technology, and we, we both talked about that, you know, at nauseum. And, and you can see fish, but it's just so much fuller than that. What it really is, to me, the most is giving me information, whether I'm catching fish, whether I'm not catching fish, whether I'm seeing fish, whether I'm not seeing fish, what cover I'm seeing, how the fish are reacting. Sometimes it's just like right before a fish bites your bait and something he did right before he bit it that you did with your bait. But it's something that I almost can't tell somebody. It's you something that I just it. see. And so it's just, for me, LiveScope's just a tool that I've got that I absolutely, you know, I, I think it's, it's just, you have to have it. You know, LiveScope was, was real impactful on my year. It, it, it played a big part in it, and it, it helped me repeat those smallmouth, but it wasn't always seeing fish. You know, everybody thinks, oh, he's just seeing fish, but it, it, it might be rocks, it might, you know, it could be boulders, it could be, I mean, there, there could be any multitude of things, but it just helps you with the information game. What you're seeing down there as you're fishing, I find I look at that more than anything now. It, it's just what I like to study. Coming up, we'll see more of this incredible technology in action. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories, fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. You know that guy that's always bringing in big ones from offshore? He's got secret lures. That guy that can pull out a spinning rod and start catching them when you can't buy a bite. He's got secret lures. What about that guy that can follow you down the bank and catch what you left behind? He's got secret lures. Oh, yeah, good one. If you are ready to be that guy, get your secret lures today at secretlures.com. You've been waiting all week for this. And Sunline wants to make sure you're ready for it with bulk spools of all your favorite fishing lines. That's oh, so fun. Bulk up with Sunline. 
Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Secret Lures. The secret is out. Outdoor Action TV. Stream your favorite shows. Power Pole. Total Boat Control. Garmin's live scope has really changed the way a lot of people fish because it allows them to see things they've never seen before. When I first saw the original Garmin Panoptic uh, units that we started with, I was blown away with their functionality. And then as we evolved into live scope, I, I mean, the ability to decipher the information that we have now is phenomenal. And I use it in mul a multitude of different ways. One is to identify reactions to baits and, and see different fish in the brush piles. But it's also, for me, a great way to locate things offshore that I can't see, whether I'm looking at, at grass or stumps or rocks, whatever it may be, I can just, with the movement of my foot, go left or right and I can see these things. And, you know, that's how a bass fisherman uses it. It's, you know, mounted directly to his trolling motor. But the crappie fishermen have even taken it a step further in a lot of situations, as the ice fishermen have as well. They're mounting poles of all different sizes and types and configurations around their boat so that they can aim it at a specific brush pile. And then they just, you know, steer it with their little poles to be able to tell them what's going on in the brush pile and know that they're always aimed at it all the time. And when you look at all the different features involved with LiveScope, you really can be you know, blown away right away with what all it does. Let's join in on a recent fishing trip with Clark Wendlet and his son-in-law, Michael Wersig, during which they observed some of those amazing features LiveScope offers firsthand. Kind of all over there now, aren't they? They're everywhere. They're, they're to the left and to the right. I mean, you, you got fish all around you out there. Yeah. That one, he's he looking at it. Yeah, he is. He's right on the bait right now. It'd be cool if he bit it right if now. He bit it right There's now, three of them on it. She's got to have. There you go. That's cool. It wasn't <laughs> a giant one, but it was cool. No. I can grab him. It's just cool to watch him come up and hit it. I mean, the thing about it is, is, is it's not going to. It's, it's another great tool. What I'm talking about is Garmin Live Scope. It's another great tool. But every once in a while, you get in that situation where you can see some straight below the boat. You drop that, you know, we, in this case, a drop shot down, and bam, you catch him. And so that's what's so cool is it's so cool to, you know, it, it's kind of like video games, but you basically are looking down, watching the fish. All of a sudden, you feel the bite. There's three of them around it, and that's pretty cool. And the thing on that one was I wasn't even on the bottom. I picked it up to where he was. He was a little bit off the bottom. Yeah. It's just cool. You can see that kind of stuff and just gives you confidence to try new things sometimes. Yeah, that's true. That's what that is very true. I mean, one thing that LiveScope does for you, Michael just mentioned it, is it just gives you confidence because like I struggle a lot of times fishing deep, but it's made me a lot better deep fisherman. And what I mean by that is is that yeah, I can see cover and I can see fish and I know what's in front of me, but a lot of times when I'm just fishing blind out there and just kind of hoping there's some fish out there, maybe saw some on my graph, but I don't know where they are. This, I can look down there and see schools of them or I can see a brush pile or I can see a grass line where I want to be able to throw and that's huge. There we go. A little better one. That one for sure. I mean, you just had to answer me with another one, didn't that's you? That's right. Let's wait and see who's bigger. I think mine's gonna be. Just not even funny. <laughs> Confidence is the key word we hear both pro and weekend anglers consistently using when talking about LiveScope. When you add a Garmin LiveScope to your boat, not only are you increasing your chances of reeling in more fish, you're maximizing your ability to see why you're catching those fish. Visit Garmin.com for more information on this and other Garmin products. Hey, thank you for watching, and join us next week on a new episode of Americana Outdoors. 
Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. I got my power pole down Stuck in the mud in the bottom of the lake Sitting so still in the wind and the waves Could even be a hurricane I got my power pole down You know, when I look at the tournaments I've won, probably four or five of the boats that I've won have been on a tube. But I had completely gotten away from flipping a tube because nobody, nobody made one soft enough. Big Bite has come with this new tour series of baits. The thing that's probably the most unique is when you look at that bait, the salt just rolls out of it. And to me, that is the reason a fish bites a tube and hangs on to it. This isn't one of those, let's go out and catch some smallmouth tube. This is a let's get it done tube.